Hi everybody, welcome back to the Going For It Sim Studio. Today I've got an update for you that also kind of has a lesson wrapped up into it and it's gonna all be about coaching. So in cycling, we have coaches that help us get our fitness where it needs to be for a particular race. And that generally is built around exact plans for how we are as athletes and what we need to improve on to get us to hit our goals at A and B level races. In golf, it's no different. Whether you're a new golfer or an avid golfer, there's always something to work on, right? Golf is so technique-based that just the smallest changes can affect a lot of what you're seeing on the course. So I was recommended an app that I really wish I would have started a lot sooner. So five months into this challenge, I've tried my best to get some buddies over who are pro golfers or golf pros to kind of help me out with a few tips to get me pointed in the right direction. It was really successful for a long time, but the Skillist app allowed me to connect with a coach who really understood exactly where I was trying to go in my golf journey, which is to break 80 in less than a year. So the way the Skillist app works, if you have never seen it or heard of it, is it's a coaching platform that has hundreds of golf coaches worldwide. And what you get to do is search through those coaches, look at their resumes, find somebody that you can connect with on a personal level that you're able to comfortably talk to, take feedback from, and improve your game. What you do after you have your initial consultation with somebody and you say, yes, this is somebody I want, you pick one of their many packages of a price point that you're happy with and gives you the opportunity to really connect with somebody. So you set up a camera, whether it's just with your phone, you could have somebody film you if you'd like, but you need to capture your swing. I have high-speed cameras from about golf, and I've got one behind me, and then I've got one right in front of me. And so I go onto the driving range, I take a swing, and it captures my swing perfectly. You take that swing and you upload it to the Skillist app after you've connected with a coach. And then what happens is the coach takes that footage, they're able to draw on it using the Skillist tools while they're giving you a personalized coaching lesson. So it's specific towards you, and then in the lesson that you get back, you get videos that they could toss on, whether it's of themselves, of videos they have in their own library, or other coaching videos that provide drills, tips, clarification. You can get some stretches thrown in there. It's an abundance of information that is tailored just to you. So what you're able to do is completely skip the YouTube of I have to fix this, what do I do? And you just get this information that is general and sure it may work for some people, but is it gonna work for you? And that's why it's so important. In cycling, we also had coaches and what they do is they would create training plans specifically for each athlete based on where they were in their fitness level what races they were going to, and then how they had their schedule worked out. We're not all professionals. We don't have time to dedicate eight hours a day to golf. So connecting with a coach who understands your schedule, exactly how you're gonna play, helps you kind of fix that swing and get you in the right direction to get that ball in the fairway. For me, it's not really a time thing. It's more of the setup I have. I've got a sim. I'm able to submit my swings to the coach, I get feedback, I get a lesson, and I can just come directly out here and work on it right away. Some changes take longer than others. There's a few difficulties in there. You don't know exactly what you're doing. Even though you feel like you're doing something you're being told, you may not get that. So without having high-speed cameras that you're able to watch yourself and understand what you're looking at, it may take a few back and forth for you to fix some of the larger things. So let's talk about my specific experience with the Skillist app. So when I sent my first video to my coach, after I explained to him exactly what this challenge was about, what I was trying to achieve, and felt comfortable with who I chose and said, this is the guy that's gonna get me where I need to get, the first thing he noticed, and it was something that I've always felt, was my hands. It was something in my hands just wasn't right. I didn't feel any control. In fact, a lot of it for me, when I came to address at the ball, when I, as soon as I started my back swing, I felt like I was lost. Like I, I felt like everything from here to here to here was guessing 
And because I'm a beginner, I don't have all the lingo down. There's specific names for where you're at in your backswing and all that. So I apologize, I don't have all that down, but truly I'm a beginner. Um, and so the first thing he noticed was, hey, your grip is not right. And I was so happy to hear that because I didn't tell him that. And so we worked on that first thing was your grip and your elbows. So for me, what I was doing wrong was when I was at a dress, I had a good strong grip. So I did have buddies come over that, that were golf pros and they put me in a strong grip immediately because I had a tendency to slice the ball. But what I was doing wrong was my right hand. No matter how many videos I watched, I couldn't understand where it went on a strong grip. So what I actually was doing is I had it way over here. So I was too far rotated this way. And although I thought I had my elbow back to where you could put a club kind of in between here, I did it. So my elbow was in a funky position. Both my arms were straight. And then my left elbow was not pointed at the target. So what I was getting a lot of are just no control. I was getting a very vertical swing path. And what that caused a lot of the times was just inconsistency in the, in the ball strike. And then my swing plane, I was getting a lot of out to in swings, even though the ball was going somewhat straight and I was scoring okay. When I would be here at the driving range, I get all my data which I understand all of you out there may not be able to get that. If you don't have a SIM with a launch monitor that can read that, it's a little bit more difficult to see unless you really have an over the top swing. But because I could see I was anywhere between plus four degrees out to in and in to out, maybe one, two degrees on occasion, I kept thinking it was other stuff. Like, is it my hands? Is it my hips? As a cyclist, I have very tight hips, and so I don't move as well as a, a normal golfer. So when we got my hands fixed, I started getting a lot more consistency. So on the next lesson, I had commented, like I can't seem to get a consistent in to out swing. Because my swing path was only just a couple degrees off, it was very difficult to see based on a camera. And when you're working with coaches virtually, they don't have the ability to kind of move around and see your swing in person. So when you work around those limitations, communication is key. And if you have this data, ask your coach what data he wants in conjunction with those videos so that you can get the, the performance out of it when you get that video back. So that immediately sparked him to saying, hey, we got to get that swing path into out. And what I notice you're doing is this. And I saw something that I have not seen on YouTube or that I didn't even feel like I was actually doing. And that goes back to what I was saying that when you're trying something, you may feel that it's where it needs to be. Unless you have the right technology or the right eyes to kind of see it, you're never gonna understand this. So what that meant for me, and let's see if I can get it on the angle for you here, is when I would do my takeaway, I was coming out here. Okay, so I'd come out here and the, the idea was this was gonna get my one piece takeaway. And then when I came down, I would be able to bring the club back that would give me that in to out swing. So it was almost this like curl pattern, right? Not that exaggerated, but it was what it actually would look like. And what I was told is the butt of the club here, and he would draw a line on my back swing camera that when I came back and I was all the way up, there was no movement here and that's called extension. So it was very small. Like I mean, on the, the lines on the, cam on the camera were almost touching. What that would do is it allowed me no room to come in and I couldn't clear my hips enough and it just caused that slight out to in swing that caused all kinds of havoc. The biggest thing being distance and control. Now this entire challenge Distance has never been an issue for me. I'm not the guy that wants a big drive. I really don't care how far my clubs go as long as I understand where they are so that when I'm playing at 18, I can pick the right club for the right shot. So what we worked on was that extension. So it was getting the club pulled back this way instead of out and we'd go and it was back and then pushing using your lead arm to push that club back. So as you can see, if my butt of my club is here, and if I'm coming back here, now I have room 
to come in and out. When I got that lesson, I watched it. I watched the drills that he showed me. I came out here and I immediately put that into effect and I cannot tell you the difference that it made. It was immediate. Now, a lot of these golf lesson changes, they're not immediate. They feel weird. They're really hard to kind of put into, put into effect and you got to practice a few days with it. My grip took me almost three weeks to get it comfortable because I kept finding myself pushing my hand back over. With this one, it was so fast and all my clubs shot up 10 to 20 yards. The shot pattern was a lot more straight than it was right and left. I felt like I had a lot more control and my confidence just shot through the roof. So after an hour on the driving range, I went and played 18 and scored one of the best scores I've had. It was somewhere in the 70s, but it was not a messy round. And that's what was really cool about it is I felt like I had confidence and control in my swing. So then what that led to was a little bit of a sway. I've always been really good about keeping my head still. And I know a lot of, if you're looking at any golf instruction, you always hear, keep your head still, keep your head still. So what I would do with that was I was coming back and I was moving my head because when I tried to come here and stretch my arms back to get that extension, it was causing me to sway this way and my head was moving a lot. And that was one I noticed watching the video. So when I set, made another video to send to my coach and say, hey, look, I figured it out. Look how good this is. Check out my swing now. I noticed it. I was like, wow, my head is moving a lot. And he wrote me right back. I mean, it was, it was a lesson that was provided rather quickly. I want to say it took about an hour. And it was a, hey, here's a couple drills. You got to work on keeping that head still. So what I actually did is I had my wife come out and I've got a stick that's uh, it's just a shaft with a grip on it. And I had her stand in front of me holding that stick right at my head so I could see and feel actually, not see, but feel if I was moving over into that stick. And so then what that did was really got me to get that one piece takeaway, get the extension and leave my head still while she was holding the stick and come through and follow through with the swing and that was just another massive improvement in my swing. I mean, that really got me a lot more consistency in hitting flush iron shots. And then <laughs> we'll go to my longer sticks, my six iron, my five iron, my four hybrid, five wood, three wood driver have been so inconsistent over the last few months. I can hit them all right sometimes, one day, and then I wouldn't hit anything else after that. And getting an in and out swing path on those was downright impossible for me. Now I can do it. And it was just with those two quick lessons, you know, after the grip got fixed, getting the extension, keeping my head still on the extension were things that I didn't realize I was doing that absolutely changed everything. And so since then I have played a few full rounds and my confidence is now I'm managing the course. I'm not just hitting the ball and then hoping that it goes somewhere and then playing another shot after that, which I just call mindless golf, where yeah, sure, I'm able to hit the ball this far in this general area, but my misses were this. You know, Now my misses are much closer. I'm able to look at the course as a management aspect and not just a swing and hit type of thing. So in summary, just one month of Skillist has put me to a level that now has me even more excited about actually breaking 80 in a year. I was starting to question it a little bit because my improvement, while it rapidly went up in the first three months, I felt like I plateaued. And for me, going out to a course and getting lessons is just not something that I have time for. I cannot schedule lessons. I just don't have the room in my calendar. Skillist allows me to do it when I want to. I got the feedback that I need and I was lucky enough to connect with a coach right away that really worked well with me and exactly what I was trying to do. So by all means, go join Skillist right now if you have the ability to film your swing and go practice that. Even if you don't have a sim, you could still film it and you can go to the course and, and figure out these things. So beginner golfers, definitely pick up a coach. Avid golfers, absolutely. I know you want to improve your game too. Things change throughout the season. It's good to have somebody that knows you really well and build a good relationship with that person. 
Focus practice is really important. A coach on skill list will keep that focus exactly where it needs to be. Good luck on your golf journey and we'll see you next time.